all the little gizmos uh, where we can we can like be in touch with the world at all times. The only way I had a connection to my 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 family and people back at home was to go to one of those things called a payphone. <laughs> you remember those? The big stand-up payphones. We would stop at a truck stop or something like that, and I would walk in and. And call, you know, call collect, of course. <laughs> and uh, I would, you know, just get sort of a, a little bit of a rundown of what was going on in my hometown. And I remember this one particular time I found out that in the weeks I had been gone, one of my classmates in, in high school had perished in an automobile accident. And also one of my musical heroes, a guy by the name of Merle Travis, had also died. And the, the point of all this is that it took weeks for me to find out about the two deaths. And I remember doing a lot of, lot of uh, real soul searching about what I was doing. And I remember I was 18 years old. And so I was thinking, wow, you know, like I'm gonna be gone and cut off from my people all the time. And I'm gonna not know what's going on. And I've gotta get used to this lifestyle. It's gonna be a unique thing. I wrote this song probably when I was more like uh, 25 or something, but that story really did kind of play into it because it lingered with me. This is called Dedication. It's the title cut of the most recent CD that me and my wife did. It's got like an, a white looking um, album cover jacket. So I, I refer to it as our white album. And, uh, <laughs> but it's actually called Dedication. That's the one, thank you. Thanks Paul for holding it up. <laughs> I'm hoping that tonight I'll sell 10 or 20 copies to each one of you. <laughs> so uh, here we go, this is called Dedication, and this really is uh, the most autobiographical song I think I've ever written. I almost hate to go back home. Somebody's died every time I've been gone. Should they be? 